Hello, 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 everyone. How's everybody doing? I hope you're having a great day. Well, I am too. It's a beautiful, gorgeous, sunny day. How can I be down when God has so richly blessed me with such an absolutely beautiful day? And, you know, like... I was thinking that no matter how bad the storm gets, that God always has our back. God is always there for us no matter what. And what we consider as adversity is actually something that lifts us up. And I want to thank all all of you for your positive messages of encouragement, of understanding, of your prayers. Um, it's just so wonderful to find that I have such good people out there. Um, you know, like, I know this could be a situation that is very... Um, negative and uh, some people would use this as a way of, of um, you know, trying to turn a person away from God. But it is in that what we think is brokenness that God uses us for our greater good. And it is truly the sign of a good Christian, of someone who is, um, that God really speaks through them by their positive attitude. I had my friend JJ call me last night, so positive, so full of love, so full of um like, uh, you know, God speaks through her and speaks through all of you as well. It's just wonderful to know that there are so many really good, decent human beings that are out there who want only the best for you. And if you ever run into a, um, you know where there ever is something, you know, stand fast in, in the love that God offers because, you know, God doesn't bring you to it to not bring you through it, right? So it's, um, yes, it's an inconvenience and yes, it's, um, it's a hardship, but it's not going to kill me. It's not going to kill me. You know, I didn't get through all of this in my life. Um, you know, to give up now. And I'm okay. I'm okay. God is going to provide. And I have no doubt about that. And thank you for all of those who reminded me of that fact. That, you know... God loves us, and he wants what is best for us, even though we think at the time that it is something that is so difficult, so hard. You know, it's actually when we look back, we find it's where it's we do our greatest healing. You know, so, um, yep. Yeah, so I am, I'm just going to keep persevering and never give up. Never, ever give up. Sure, there are naysayers out there who, you know, and we've all come across them, who think they care for you or they love you or, you know, they want the best for you or whatever. And all they have is their own sick and twisted agenda. And, uh, 
and they are very sick, 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 demented people out there, you know, and, um, yeah, so, anyway, so as you can see here, I am working on winter, and I'm working here using, um, treasure braid and I um, I am working here wherever this orange is that's where I'm using the treasure braid yes I could use the the other stuff here this DMC stuff but I don't much care for it I don't much care for it. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, otherwise, not much else. I don't know. <laughs> I went looking on TV yesterday and today, and there's nothing on there that I really am interested in. And I'm hoping that will change in the near future. We'll see. And, um, yeah. So, uh, so just remember on, uh, yeah, today is Thursday the, what is it, the 9th? I think it's the 9th. 10th it's the 9th or the 10th it's one of them and um i can't remember it's thursday anyway <laughs> yeah so uh it's uh yeah, it is Thursday the 9th. Yes, it is. Thursday the 9th. Yeah. So I am going to, after this is starting to upload, I'm going to go outside and I'm going to plug Susie in. And I'm going to take her for a drive uptown my last time until I can get my um, the appeals process underway and um, yeah so uh, so I'm gonna do that and um, make sure that I stop in and get things um, get things sorted out and uh, let's, uh, and uh, yeah. Tomorrow is Friday, so we're going to be doing Stations of the Cross at 1. But I'm going to go uptown and uh, tomorrow. And I'm going to I'll walk over there to the um, auto pack office and hand in my driver's license. And, um, yeah, I will do that. I spoke with MPI yesterday. And, um, she told me, she, uh, she said, I have one chance at an appeal. So I will, I will make sure that all my T's are crossed and my I's are dotted. I will get 
that underway. I have no doubt I'll get it back. Is it an inconvenience? Yep, it is. Is it insurmountable? No. No. Because I have options here. I have options. And um, it's it's sometimes it's difficult to see, you know, a path through when it happens. But eventually, you know, you do. And, you know, a, uh, you know, if, if, if I was mentally unhealthy, then it would be one thing. Like, I, I know of a lot of extremely sick and twisted people. And, um, uh, yep. I met a few of them in, when I went through group therapy. And that, and who are extremely vindictive and angry and think that, you know, You could tell, like, listening to them, you know, like, you just kind of go, whoa, wait a minute. Oh, yeah. And, uh, it's, it's like the saying, you will know them by their stripes right so their actions speak louder than words and uh, yeah I know a lot of people who are just wonderful compassionate understanding and I know that there's not a single person in my group that is is not you know understanding and empathetic you know it's, uh, I think that it's um you, you, I think we all know people like that, right? You've got that one family member. You've got that one person in your life who is just, you know, they're the ones that are, you know, we hear about them on the news, right? That if, um... Um, if I can't have you, no one else will, right? And uh, if you don't do this, then I will do everything I can to make life miserable for you. And, uh, yeah. You can't help but feel sorry for people like that. I, I can honestly say I've only run into a few people like that in my entire life. There's only been like two, maybe three people that I have ever run into that have been like that. You know. 
So what are y'all working on today? I'm glad that uh, lots of positive input there about the um, the kits I showed you yesterday. Those were just beautiful kits. The foxes and the... Um, I think that's a type of gross beak. Yeah. And... Um, So, uh, yeah, it's just, they were just wonderful. So next Wednesday, I will do part two from VIP Cross Stitch. And that's where I got this from, was VIPCrossStitch.com. Now, these, these designs here with these ladies, they come in... Um, um, printed and counted. They come in um, 14 and 11 count. Um, I am doing my... It's not my own conversion. It's somebody else's conversion. Kind of, sort of. I'm kind of taking a little bit from what they have done and I'm going to do my own I'm going to kind of do my own thing I haven't decided yet I just haven't decided yet I um, I just I'm going to put some white in here and I'm going to have some blues But I haven't quite decided yet what I'm going to do. I was going to put the coat, you know, like the overcoat and, and that. But I don't think I'm going to do that. But I, um, I'm looking around and trying to get, you know, so that I have, um, an idea. But I don't have to cross that bridge yet. I, uh, because I'm just working here. I, I'm, I've decided here I'm just going to work on all this with all this metallics first. And, um, so, uh, yeah, this is going to take me, I think, another round. So in six months, when I pick this up again, then I can work on. on using uh, this metallic because I have still quite a bit here left to do. But I just wanted to, uh, to get what I can done using this. And if you're looking at ideas for these ladies and I know that they are um, lavender and lace ladies okay. that you can you can look around on Pinterest and you can find all kinds of color combinations and ways that they've been done and redone and, and that so yeah
Oh, I have... Um, um, you may find that I'm going to be having a few ads per se um, showing up. I don't know when yet. Um, like not, not, um, not indiscriminate where they just come up. It will be something that I have more control over. So I don't know yet what, you know, when or how or anything yet. It's just kind of, it's, it's still in the beginning phase. Ow! Good thing that didn't go any deeper. So... So don't be surprised if it is. But it's it's something that I mean I kind of already do anyways. You know, so it's We'll just see. I I don't know yet. I don't know what's happening yet. But yep, tomorrow it's supposed to go up to minus one. <gasps> yes, which is good because I'm um, I'm gonna walk over there to the MPI and then Juliet when she comes here to uh, come for um, Stations of the Cross. And if you're not Catholic, okay, you won't really know or understand what Stations of the Cross is. And what there are 14 stations. And those are the significant events that happened on Jesus' road to Calvary. Okay. What happened along that? You know, like the Via Della Rosa. Or, um, you know, just everything that happened. Um, and we meet Fridays. It'll be at one o'clock. And um, we just, it's just that we, we have a booklet and we read and um, on one wall are seven stations, on the other wall are the other seven stations. And they, uh, And it's just done during Lent or the lead up to Easter. So we are we are starting that. It would have been started last week, but because there was the World Day of Prayer, and there were too many people going to the World Day of Prayer. So we are doing it. We're starting it tomorrow. So Yep. So anyway, it's just quiet, very quiet. Um, 
Jonah and uh, Lily Bell are down here. Sydney's up in the cat condo. And I am going to be working on this. I have, I did a little laundry, so I have to hang clothes up. And, uh, yeah, so not much else happening. Just quiet. So. Oh, I know somebody was asking yesterday, and I forgot. I I haven't responded to your your um, message, but um about because everything runs so slowly here and it was said there that um it was asked that uh you know why can't i get a um booster and you can't you can't do that because it has to do with the actual bandwidth it has nothing to do with the um, um, you know is the signal getting around my house okay right that I have dead zones in the house it's it has nothing to do with that this has to do with bandwidth so all I have is that I have um, two uh, to three gigabytes upload. And that's where I cap out at. Okay. So it, it doesn't matter. I could have 100 boosters in the house. It wouldn't do anything because I'm capped at so and so much. Right. It's like having a mailbox. You can only stuff the the the, the mailbox is only so big. <laughs> and no matter what you do, you can't make that any bigger. And that's what this is. Right. So I may want to have it bigger, but it doesn't it won't go. Um, so. No, some days I'm here and my video uploads like that. And then other days it's slow, 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 slow. Yep. But you learn to live with things, right? You learn your body. Um, you know, you 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 adapt to things, right? That's like I know a lot of people. They say, "Well, how can I live it where it's so cold?" Well, what am I gonna do? You have to, right? Uh, it is what it is. So, but it was a good question. It was a good question, and I wish that it. I wish that it would go. It was different, but it's not. I can't do anything because I'm not wired in. I am just on Wi-Fi. So, but it has nothing to do with, like, 
A booster is great if I'm sitting outside and I'm further away here from the modem and I need a booster to get myself the signal outside. That's one thing. But I cannot increase the bandwidth. So, but awesome question. Yes, yes, yes. So... Okay, everyone, I guess that's it for now. Remember, on Sunday, I will be doing a live again. I'm going to try and do it again on Facebook Live. <laughs> I'm going to try it again. And it's... We'll see how it goes. This time around, I think I'll give it... I'll give it 15 minutes on Sunday. To try and get it so that people who want to get in can get in. But if if nobody gets it, and if you can't get in, send me a message. And based on that, then I will see about doing a YouTube live. Right? So, yeah. But I, I really do like it when we can see each other. So, all right, everyone. So, may you be happy, may you be healthy, may you be well. May God bless you this day and every day. God loves you, and so do I. And so does Lily Bill and Jonah and Sydney, the little shit. <laughs> Ooh, there. <laughs> Did I say that? <laughs> yeah, but he's, he's actually, he's a lot better than he was. He does still bounce off the walls and climb the curtains, but he's a lot better. So, anyways, all right, everyone. I hope to see you here again tomorrow, God willing, of course. And, um, you know, I pray for all of you. And uh, thank you again for all your wonderful, kind comments. It just goes to show the loving and caring people that you all are. And I really appreciate each and every one of you and how much that um, you want the best for me. And that means a lot to me. And God knows who you are. You don't have to say it, but God knows who you are. And um, it's wonderful. So, all right, everyone. Thank you, Jesus, for being my Lord and Savior. Thank you for saving me from my sins. Thank you for being there in my darkest and deepest moments. Thank you for loving me like you do. Thank you for dying on the cross for me so that my sins may be forgiven. And dealing with this as being in my one of my darkest and deepest moments, but I am making the best of it because, yep, what am I going to do? It is what it is. Can't do anything about it. Not right now, I mean. Um, but I'm, uh, yep, my appeals process is the ball starting to roll. So, all right, everyone. We'll see you here tomorrow, God willing. Of course, toodle-oodles, everybody. Bye!